Yep, my straps are tight, yep. Closed, yep. and I should close your window gently. And there's a knob there, to push. and then push the little thing out, the little square thing. Yep. That's it, and get some air coming yep. in. That's it. It's good. Right. If you look on the wings, you'll see the air brakes coming out with the landing and losing height. Okay. Okay. So, um, Papa, Papa Alpha. This is Zulu Remia. Papa, Papa, Alpha, Zulu, Romeo, do you read? Uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, we've got um, uh, Phil in the front, Phil. Yeah. Okay, and I'll take you to nursery where it's working quite well. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lemmy. Okay, so. Is that the nursery slope? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we are, super. Okay, so just make sure the camera's away from the controls. And yeah, it is well away. Yeah. So, you just have to walk us forward a bit, let me. No. Okay, so. And it'll be bumpy on the takeoff run because the grass is un uneven stuff. Understood. So, bumpy, bumpy. And yeah. then once we're in the air, of course, there may be some bumps in the air naturally. Aren't it? In okay. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, here we are. So, it's going to be. Around about 25 past 12 when we take her. So, okay, rope stretched, walking forward, thank you. So we're going to walk forward. <laughs> I'll just wait till we're level with this glider on the left and yes. then we'll go. Okay, pop her out, all out, all out. Here we go. Okay. Ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, 
So what does your L temperatures show? Uh, 4,200 going up to 4,300. Yeah. Is yours same? Same, yeah. yeah <laughs> so we're getting, it's a bit of a thermal. And while we're, uh, when we circle a lot, um, let's not look down occasionally, but not all the time. Best to look around the horizon as much as you can. And that way, uh, if you see anybody coming straight at us, let me know. <laughs> okay, yeah. And I'll do the same if I see it first. Right. So I'm a sort of safety pilot yeah, of the well, lookout. Right. Well, especially looking ahead. Yeah. Straight ahead. So we're using a combination of servo and a bit of wind on the hill. Right. So we're just coming up to 6,000, which is a good start so far. It's very good, yeah. Good and we're st still... Yeah, we're driving a couple like up for a uh, This is Zulu, Zulu, Zulu Romeo, is it? Zulu Romeo. Yeah, yes. right. Do you see hikers around? Uh, not very often. No. <laughs> and some of these mountains are privately owned, you know. Are they? Yeah. So oh, right. Yeah. So you have to get permission to walk on their land. A bit of a pain, but... Um, That's a pain, isn't it? You have to. I'm just going to go straight in. We've got just over 6,000. Okay. The plan at the moment is, uh, you see over on the left, the lower ridge on the left. Yes. So that's the U range. Oh right. So um, my plan is to go over there. Uh, I think that's all right. right. We'll see what it's like. I'm just going forward under these clouds. Here. Solid. Yes. And always because, of course, before turning one, one must look out. Of course, yes. Before turning to make sure there's no other glider nearby or any other aircraft. Yes. Gliders have a habit of <laughs> going first again. Do you get many powered aircraft out here? Not really, and usually they fly lower. Oh, right. They generally fly lower. Um, and they fly sort of down the valleys. Yes. But they usually they lower down and they're talking, they usually stay on 119 decimal one. Right. This uh, frequency we're on now is a wider chat frequency. Right. Uh, we're going up and we're on which is great. Fantastic. Well, I to go. Yeah. Go. Well I wanted it too actually. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this, Mike. Oh, I'm glad. That's that's the that's exactly what we wanted. So we just there we are. Now we're actually at cloud base at nine thousand. So we're going to go forward a bit. See if we can convert it. So we're speed up here, is it? Probably 18 knots. It's not, oh, not a lot. Pulling them 
legs up when we get to the neck. Oh, right, okay. I'm just trying to establish myself in the way properly. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, that's a bit of, good bit of lift there, huh? That's great. Can you hold the glider straight? Sure. You just keep it straight, you have control. Uh, we're climbing up through 11,000 feet. This is wave lift. <laughs> This is a uh, New Zealand wave. It's, um, if you look up, there's no higher, there's, they're all, these are low level wave clouds. Yeah. And we haven't got any lenticulars up high. No. So it's not a uh, classic wave though. So with classic, you do have lenticulars. Yes, we have lenticulars all over the sky. Uh, might they build up today or? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It might do later on, very, very much later on. In yes. The the wind stays up. Now at this height, the wind readout is 49 knots, nearly 50 oh, right. knots. So it's quite strong. So we can get a lift off the wind as well, can we? No, it's, oh, right. it's, it's the wind coming over the, you see the, the mountains slightly to the left of your nose, the wind's coming over those, all right. it's then coming down and then bouncing up again. Yeah, all right. And that's what we're in, we're in the bouncer. Okay. So the trigger is those mountains ahead of us, the trigger for the wave. Right. which is 600 feet a minute. Oh, that's great. And I'm just weaving around in there and lift to try and stay in the gap between the clouds on our left and the clouds on our right. Yes. If we go very close to the clouds on our right, we get a lot of sink. Oh, right. That's where the wave's going down. Yeah. What do you think? Is it good? Fantastic. Beautiful. Great to be above the clouds. Yeah. And still climbing. Still climbing. Well, would you like to take over for a minute? Okay, yeah. And you have control. Just, uh, give it like that for a minute. Just give it straight. We're still going up at four and a half. Now, I'm looking, if you look to the right, you'll see Lake Ohau. Yes. And I reckon our route should be. We're going to try and go straight up the middle of Lake Ohio from here. Okay. And try and keep in the wave if we can. But, um, okay, just keep it there for a second. Just We want to get up to about 13 and a half or so. Yeah. Or a bit more. Because there will be a gap in the wave as we go along there where we may lose height. I'm just going to open my air back. Sure. level for a second. Sorry, yeah. That's it. There's a rudder quite a bit with this thing. That's it. Now the wind up here oh, is 72 knots. Wowee. <laughs> Right next to a road near the river, near the river. 
Oh, I see it, yes. See it? Yeah. Okay, maybe now's the time. Let's turn right and go fairly well to right. Turn right. And then we'll watch the trend of the very opposite. Turn more, more. Thank you, more. Okay, you have control. In fact, why don't you take control for the next few minutes? Okay. Get us into the right place. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no guarantees. Now look, what's the big bear option? Oh yes. It's not yet. <laughs> now I can see it's descending. descending at the moment, yeah. Now look at it. Look at it now. Oh yes, it's beginning to come up. To see whether we're in the right place. That may be as close as we're going to get. Yeah. Twelve thousand three hundred, see? Yeah. <laughs> That's my cook, baby. Whoopee. I'm just figure of eating here while I get something. Yes. Come on, you're on the channel. Yeah, follow the series of channels. Wowee. Such a view. Okay, uh, you're on the catch of the room, sir. Yeah, we're on the catch of the room. It's not quite right. Good. Yeah, this is the glacier here, coming down underneath the sun. Is that right? It's the Mueller glacier. Yes. But you can see how they've all receded. They've all receded an awful lot. Oh, right. Is that global warming? Yeah, global, <laughs> global gloaming. Global <laughs> Does anybody ski in this area? I think they do. I think they have done. Gavin uh, Wills has, I'm sure. <laughs> he used to be a mountain guide. Oh, right. And an avalanche guide and everything guide. Don't mean my window. Don't yeah, it's getting quite warm, isn't it? Yeah. Look, at, look down on the left, look how muddy those lakes are. They certainly are. Really aren't they? muddy. Yes. Yeah. Where is that mud coming from, the glacier? From the mountains, you know, yes. Yeah. And all, when it rains, you know, and all that. Right. I suppose the. And it comes all the way down there. And you get the moraine. I think the moraine is what makes it muddy here. Right. All the moraine. 
square these. Just trying to get more. Square these um, glaciers stop. You see all the brown and uh, grey moraine and stuff? Yes. Well, underneath that is apparently thousands of feet of ice. Wow. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah, right under all that dark stuff. It's not just rubble. Ice. Now we've, we've got, we may have quite a long haul to get back because of the window. Okay. So we're getting. Oh, I'm losing my left a little bit. Anyway, so we're doing pretty well. We lost. Of course, although we appear to be on our own up here, but just always keep a good look out. Yes. And the blood is extremely difficult to see. I know we are. <laughs> I remember from when I was uh, <laughs> flying a powered aircraft, you'd, you'd see a flash of wings in the sun and then they were gone. Now this ridge along the top of Mount Cook is the summit ridge. Right. So how far are we from base now? The base at uh, uh, we're 51 miles, which is uh, just about 100 and 105 kilometers or something like that. Wow, that's good. You can see how quick it is to look for a to the right. Yes. So we've got a long haul to get back. Okay. So this may be as far as we go. So anyway, this is the flight level 163. Here, it's north of the then possibly up the Mount Mary Way. And you can see the west coast, if you look to the right of it, the west coast going up to the north there. Uh, right. The yes. So right over the summit bit right now. So I'm going to turn back in a second. Okay. Of oh, course. We're just getting, we're get some height here. On the basis of, you know, if you want to establish yourself in the wave on the way back. Oh, it's a crash glider to start and now open. We're still breathing okay? Fine, yes. Good, good. So it must be working. <laughs> yeah, you know about it. <laughs> Look around to the left, look at the view there. Oh, wait. It's clear, that it's clear all the way to the east coast in the left. Yes. Not a few low, low cloudies there. I feel lucky. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is why you wanted one, eh? It was, yeah. You see to it where the right wing's running? Yes. If we were to track along there, we would run into airspace and we'd have to come down to 13. And a half thousand right. after a little while, which is a shame, isn't it? It's a real shame. Which airspace is that? It's just uh, another airspace. Uh, I have no idea what it's called. Oh, right. They're now looking on the map. And it's not. 13 and a half thousand feet. And on different days, you could, you could do that. You could go right. all the way along there. Yeah. Now we're 55 miles from the Marathon. I think a Cessna 152 probably only goes up to about 12,000 feet maximum. Yes, that's right, yes. It's trouble about that. Yeah, and there's no oxygen. <laughs> and to think that we're doing this with no power. Amazing. Yes, I know. That's, that's the great thing. It's, uh, without an engine. So I'm going to start heading back, okay? Yes, fine. Because, uh, take this while we get back. Yeah, of course. Okay, so there we are, uh, the iceberg lakes down underneath us. What's your altimeter reading now? Uh, it's reading 17950. Okay, so practically 
Uh, yeah, nearly. Yes, it's 18,000 now. Oh, actually, I tapped it, it's gone up a bit. So, anytime you want to fly, you can let me know. I'm happy with you in control, actually. Just let me know. Yes. Over on the left, sorry, Lake Benmore, and we want to track slightly to the left of that. So turn a little bit more to the left, a little bit more to the left. Because we're going over, we're going to go to the Benmore Mountains, you see. Okay. Which is over there. Yeah, that'll do. We head that way. More or less straight to the Merriman, huh? <laughs> That's the Merriman straight ahead. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Yeah. And I'll tell you, we're only about 35 kilometers from there. I'm going to have to use the air brakes a bit. Okay. So it will be right. But, um, so you, you, you're still videoing. Oh, yeah, I'm yes. pretty good, jolly good. I mean, whilst I was doing the turns, I had the thing in my lap, so I don't know what it was video. But uh, no, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, fantastic. Okay. Thanks, Mike, so much. Uh, I mean, I, it's just perfect the way I, I hope. And the other thing I have to ask is, um, before we go down, are you the sort of person who would like to do any aerobatic things or not? Um, 
What sort of aerobatics? Well, the, the only things we do with these things are a gentle chandelles, which is a wing over, yeah. gentle chandelles, uh, and then maybe a loop for loop. Want to try no, I'm happy to go. You're happy as we are. No, no, no. I'm happy for you to do the. Okay. Uh, You're happy to do. Um, so, uh, even a loop, yeah. Okay, so we'll do it here. We'll turn that noise down on the beep 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 noise. Just turn it. Have a look. We're in the wave lift again. Okay. I'll hang it extra tight onto my camera. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on tight. Well, keep the camera aimed slightly up because there's only G-force. So, right, okay, I'm going to dive to about, about only a little bit, and I'm going to pull up yeah. and turn right in the middle of the right. Okay. Here we are, pull up, and then turn right. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yeah. This is a Sandella wing over. Right. It's a quick way to turn, isn't it? Yeah. Remember to do one to the left. Yeah, not too bad. It's not, not too, too bad. Not too scary. No. Uh, what about one loop the loop then before we go down? Yeah. Okay then. Let's go for it. Okay. Here we are. We're going to go for 110 knots, and then we're going to pull up. Yeah. You'll feel about three, three and a half g. So keep your head back on the headrest. Okay. Right. We're going to go a little bit second. Okay. I'm going up now. Up now. Over the top and down we go. How was that? Exciting. <laughs> I'm going to open the air brakes again. Um, I did it once uh, when I was again a passenger at Dunstable. Oh, right. um, well, it was probably about 45 years ago. Do you remember who was your instructor? <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a guy who was there for many, many, many years. He started there in 1949. Right. And he was flying there, well, from 49 until recently. And he's just died at the age of 85. Oh, wow. Um, so, a chap called John Jeff is a famous uh, character. I do. That's yeah. part of the Benmore Lake. It comes all the way around. Oh, right. It goes around the corner, doesn't yeah. it? Yes. But I'm going to turn right anyway. Okay. We've had a good... We've had, we've had three hours, by the way. That's very good, yeah. On your computer screen, in yeah. the middle of it, underneath the bottom figures, yeah. shows the hours. Yes, 3.01, and, and my camera says 3.4, 3 hours and 4 minutes, okay. and it's still got another 2 hours le left on the SIM card, on the memory card, so hopefully there'll be some good video, it might be a bit bouncy. Hopefully what? 
we'll get some good video. Oh, yes, sir. Hang on a second. Are you ready to get the undercarriage down? Yeah. Right. Let's put it down. Right, shove it in. Right. Yeah, it's in. Right in. Unlock, it's locked. Thank you very much. So, um, now we're, we're 4,400 feet coming down. Uh, oh, my, my back, A little bit of air brake. Strapped in okay? I am, yes. Yeah, so straps are... I'll, I'll just tighten them. Yeah, tighten them. Straps are tight, undercarriage is down, yeah. air flaps are fitted, and the air brakes are working, so that's fine. No fuel though. <laughs> no. no fuel sufficient for an overshoot. <laughs> yeah. Right, a little bit of air brake. That looks like a tow plane is just landing. Yeah, Traffic, Romeo, downwind, right handed for 270, landing long. Kill the height. So, yeah, uh, Zulu Romeo is uh, number two for 270. Okay, yeah, I'll hang No, I won't. I'm hanging on to it. It's easy for them to tow it there. Super. So we'll spin the bear. Just there we do. And then I'll put the left wing down. And there we are. Super. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed that, Mike. Yes, it Thank was, you so much. It was a. I think it fulfilled your what, your requirement, didn't it? It certainly did. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't all plain sailing, was it? No, I it mean, wasn't. <laughs> there was a bit of searching for this and that. <laughs> and to make us come, can you hold the canopy? Sure. For me, while I get out first. Yes. Are you aware of the date, by the way? What's that? Are you aware of the date? The date, yes, it's the Friday the 13th. 13th, yeah. I, I know, what could possibly go wrong? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit wild on the approach, but that's right. It says downloading flight. Yes, it is. That's good. That's good. 
so it's downloading it to the memory card, is it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got the canopy. Yep. Shall I take your? Is that? Um, I'll just turn it off.